I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. Happy almost Valentine's Day. So today's DIY, I had a little bit of fun with naming it. We're making a Honey Bee Mine body lotion. Here in Calgary, February is dark and cold and dry. So I wanted this Valentine's Day lotion to be richly moisturizing, but you know, light enough that you could apply it frequently to keep yourself from feeling like a giant human prune. For moisturizing goodness, you'll find a pretty good dose of vegetable glycerin, some soothing panthenol, and also some honey. I used a local-ish honey from Invermere, British Columbia that was a gift from a friend that's absolutely lovely. And I would recommend using, yeah, something beautiful and lovely that perhaps you picked up from a local apiary if you can. At just 3% with our preservative as Liquid Dermal Plus, I haven't found this presents any kind of stability challenges. Our oil phase is mostly a blend of rich shea butter and then really light camellia seed oil. So you can see that this does have a fairly thick consistency. You know, it's not falling out of the tub. You definitely don't want to put this in a pump top bottle. It will not pump out, but when applied to the skin, it spreads really, really beautifully and does feel surprisingly light. And so we get some of that additional viscosity without additional weight from the inclusion of some subtle alcohol and a titch of hydroxyethyl cellulose. This smells of roses thanks to the inclusion of some rose hydrosol. I thought that was quite, you know, well suited to the theme, but if you'd like to change up and make it smell like something else, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. I've included information information on how to swap up the smelly stuff in the substitutions list at the end of the formulation. In the cool down phase, you'll find a product called Lipomoist 2036. And so this is a really moisturizing, active, made from hydrolyzed proteins, some gums, and some other great for skin ingredients. If you'd like to learn more about it, there is a whole entry on it in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia, which also includes information on how to substitute it out. So don't feel like you have to buy it, but if you already have some, this is a great formulation to use it in. And if you do tend to suffer from really dry skin, it might be something you consider investing in. All right, I think that is enough chat about the solution. So. Let's go make it. We'll begin by combining our heated water phase ingredients in a small beaker. So in this beaker, I already have 22.89 grams of distilled water. To that, I'm going to add 10 grams vegetable glycerin. And then our next two ingredients are three grams of a lovely local honey and 40 grams of rose hydrosol. Now, because the honey is real sticky, I'm going to add the rose hydrosol to the dish with the honey, and then we're going to gently get these two to uh, integrate. When I made this for the blog post, I just weighed everything directly into the beaker. So this wasn't an issue and I would recommend doing that at home as well. But for the purposes of the video, I've done it this way and I'm having regrets. I'm gonna leave that to dissolve a little bit. So up next, we're gonna need one and a half grams of panthenol, also known as vitamin B5. And I'm also going to incorporate a tiny bit of red dye. So this is FDNC Red 40, it was from Yellow Bee, it was a gift. Now we need so little of it, 0 0.003 grams. I cannot weigh out an amount that tiny. So I have a glass stirring rod here. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a dip. You can see that there's just like the tiniest amount of powder on there. Pop that in there. It'll make the water phase pretty red to start, but once it's blended in with the oil phase, it'll shift to a soft pink. And if you would like to use a mica instead, make sure you are reading the blog post for information on how to do that. Now that the honey has dissolved into the rose hydrosol, I'm gonna add that to the main dish as well. Up next, we'll combine the ingredients for a heated oil phase in a second beaker. So you'll need four grams of emulsifying wax NF, and if you're looking for substitutions, please make sure you're reading the blog post linked in the description box below this video. Seven grams shea butter, so you can tell from the color that this is unrefined shea butter. It's from Baraka, and it was a gift, and it's really lovely, but if you do not like the smell of shea butter, I would recommend using a refined shea butter as the characteristic shea butter scent does come through a bit in the end. And I, I find that it mingles nicely with rose, but I think I like the smell of shea butter more than some people. So yeah, let your sort of nose and your personal preferences be your guide there. Five grams camellia seed oil, two grams subtle alcohol, and 0 0.2 grams hydroxyethyl cellulose. Now, before we proceed, we're going to weigh the water phase and I'm just going to note that weight. 
making sure to note that the weight also includes the glass stirring rod. And this will allow us to easily replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. So to heat everything through, we're going to use a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottomed saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm just gonna go pop this on the stove top over medium heat until everything has melted through and come to the same temperature. Once everything has heated through and melted, you can remove your water bath from the heat and then remove the beakers from the water bath. So our first order of business is topping off the water phase. So just dry that beaker off and pop it back on the scale. And then we'll refer to that number we wrote down earlier and top it off with a bit of preheated distilled water. Give that a stir, pour it into our oil phase. So our next step is gonna be blending this up. So I've got our immersion blender here. So we'll start with a few short bursts before working up to a full blend. All right, that was about three minutes of blending. You can see as the <laughs> lotion just drips off the immersion blender that it is still very, very liquidy. So I'm gonna leave this to cool for a while and then we'll come back and blend it some more. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. It's starting to thicken up on top there. So we can give this another nice thorough blending. All right, so that was about another minute of blending and you can see that this has gotten very lovely and thick and gorgeous. It's still a bit warm to incorporate the cool down phase. So I'm going to leave this to continue to cool. We are making some great progress here. Once the lotion has cooled to room temperature, we can incorporate our cool down phase. So our cool down phase is pretty simple. I've already weighed the two ingredients into this small little dish. So that blob that you see, that is Lipomoist 2036. If you would like to learn more about this ingredient, it is one of the over 100 ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia, so make sure you check that out. And then we also have 0.4 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus in this little dish, and that is our preservative. So in order to incorporate the cool down phase, I'm going to plop a dollop or two of the parent batch into this little dish, and then we're going to stir until uniform. Once this mixture is nice and smooth, we're gonna transfer it back to the parent batch. And with that done, all that's left is packaging. So for packaging, I'm going to use this 100 milliliter screw top plastic jar from Yellow Bee. So this was a gift and it's linked in the blog post, which is as always linked in the description box below. label I'm going to use one of these cute little ones I had printed up from Sticker Mule. I'll throw my refer a friend link in the description box below if you are interested in having something similar made for yourself. For a bit of a use demo we can grab some of the leftovers. See that it smooths over the skin really nicely and leaves the skin really hydrated. I find it feels relatively rich, but it's not greasy. The scent is a combination of the rose notes from the rose hydrosol and a bit of shea butter, um, though you could you know, subtract the shea butter from that if you use refined shea butter. And there you go. So we just made a really lovely Honey Bee Mine body lotion using shea butter and honey and camellia seed oil and lots of other great goodies. So as always, if you would like to learn more about this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. There's tons of really great information in there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.